Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Doing your love reading here for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, and for those of you returning subscribers, I greatly appreciate being here. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Um, so yeah, this is a Virgo channel strictly for Virgos. Um, and it will be a love reading. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. Um, if you're completely single and there isn't anyone, this may not resonate, but you're more than welcome to continue listening anyway. Um, I look at the past, present, and the future. And the future could be, even though this is uploaded on this particular day, the future could be at any time going forward. Um, so if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You can just click that link, and that'll take you to my booking site where you can get a 30 minute or a one hour phone call reading with me. All right, past energy, present energy here. Hmm. And the future. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There you are, Virgo, showing up in your own reading. Okay, so on the board we have Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, if that resonates for you, great. If not, don't worry. We pick up energies no matter what of whomever your person is. All right, let me take a look at the love messages here. You know, it's really crazy, Virgo. I feel like a there's a past energy of like two people meeting, finding common ground, starting a romantic relationship, things progressing and changing towards commitment, marriage. So this reading might be specific for some of you who had experienced that and you, your person, you guys were in a committed long-term relationship or married, whatever it is, okay? Um, new love, okay. True love, okay. Hmm. All right. Now, when I see the past, the past can go anywhere from like yesterday to 20 years ago. So however this reading resonates for you, remember it's general. I try to touch on whatever energy comes up, but it may, you'll just have to wait and see. This person from your past, you know, you were, um, you definitely stirred some romantic feelings in this person. And I do feel like there was true love here between both of you. Um, now, for some, the Hierophant can represent marriage and a lot like a committed relationship, but it also can represent like a spiritual teacher, okay? Um, I feel like your, your person, when you guys met, you know, there was definitely a connection there between the two of you. Like you guys were like, yes, we're meant to be. This is a good connection. Um, and change was happening there may have been um this energy where your person was seeking a traditional connection in some way not anything that they were rebelling from so you know i, I feel like that's what their intentions were but let me get some clarifier cards here to see because i know some of you are like well it sure didn't feel that way um <laughs> But I'm, you know, intentions and actions sometimes don't align. People could have good intentions, but their actions could be opposite of their intentions, right? So I'm looking at their intentions here, okay? There's no action cards here. I feel like when you two met, um, it was meant to progress. And did it progress? I don't know, because I don't know your story. Um, it may have just halted or stopped. Um, but let's get some clarifier cards here. Two of, yeah, look, three of pentacles again. This person's intention was to come into some type of like connection here where you both could build and create something together. What, create what? Create love, create marriage, create union, create, um, you know, learning new skills, um, to be connected in a relationship communication skills, a lot of studying, working really hard, having good intentions, um, uh, starting at the beginning. Oh, wow. 
the wheel of fortune on top of the wheel of fortune oh my goodness um i feel like your person was like you know there was a turning point this person was ready to 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 turn this wheel with you and go in that direction with you look the eight of wands wow fast moving making those changes i listen i know some of you are just gonna be like i don't know who that maybe this is like somebody you've recently met maybe this isn't your past person the past represents past doesn't necessarily represent your past person so it you know it's going to be different for all of you um but i do get a sense that whoever this person you know whatever was going on in the past with ever whom you know your story better than i do this person's intentions were true it, for them it was true love yes they wanted to move things along the eight of wands there speed action change positive news cupid's arrows all of it the double wheel of fortune that's like you know yes if you ask them are you sure you want to do this uh, yes again you know that kind of thing um so i don't really know what happened if they're if you're not together i'm not really sure what the breakdown was there you know your story again but i'm looking at this person let's look at the present energy <laughs> passion healing family issues wow your person has abandonment anxiety abandonment issues okay they do um we have the five of swords the knight of cups and the five of pentacles so despite fives represent uncertainty and they also represent realignment and change and freedom and also inconsistency yet at the center of the reading is the knight of cups this person i you're, i feel like your person wanted romance and wanted to offer their love to you they're very passionate about you but they definitely have these healing these family issues i feel like this person is like in this place right now where they're trying to forgive their parents or take a look at stuff with their parents they may have had a parent that abandoned them or both um, or there was financial struggles in their their childhood there may have been abuse or someone you know a caretaker whomever that was um, really sharp and cutting maybe a bit of a bully or they dealt with bullying or they dealt with um, always being left out in the cold or feeling like they weren't good enough that kind of thing but their passion for you I see in the present there's some type of proposal or a love offer coming from this person let's take a look at this five of swords oh yeah look eight of swords self-imposed prisoner this person was trapped somebody was very abusive to them could have been an ex or could have been parents or you know family member or someone that they were connected with um and this person because of those issues maybe they became a bit cutting and dry or um, did a lot of cut off themselves but the reason why is because of this eight of swords here which you know represents someone who feels quite restricted or imprisoned or um you know i often like to reference this card when i turn it this way to someone like a damsel or um you know a person in distress you know on those train tracks you know but they they're not tied to these these tracks here this person can easily just get up and walk away um, but there's a lack of confidence to be able to do that with this person they may have struggled with that yet they still want the love they still wanted to offer this love they still want they still want this with you let's take a look at the five wow the tower okay major strike to the ego or <laughs> upheaval major change this is like coming down the crown chakra here and the crown chakra always represents a connection between wisdom and spiritual insight so your person is gaining some like serious this is like major epiphany like it comes out of nowhere um this person if you guys aren't in connection with one another it very well could be that they they sabotage the connection because the eight of swords will do that self-sabotage and and still still want what they want with you okay 
so the tower um yeah okay let me see here this okay queen of swords here yeah there i feel like in the present or sometime going forward this person is going to come in with some kind of proposal but also a conversation to clear the air with you all right um they're definitely having a breakdown here and part of that breakdown is needing to take a look at their in, in, abandonment issues <clears throat> excuse me uh, queen of swords aquarius libra gemini energy um and the queen of swords i believe is uh um well it could also be sometimes the queen of swords can represent virgo because it's mercury ruled so it very well could be with this person um seeing you as the queen of swords king doesn't matter where you are um someone who's very self-sufficient and a total like very honest type of a person okay um you're very strategic and I feel like they view you this way. And I feel like these are things about you that they really like. You're, you're quite intentional, Virgo, with your thoughts and words. The things you say. Um, or at least they view you that way. Let's take a look and see this future energy here. So I do see like a love offer coming in from this person. Um, Okay, the future, we have attraction. Pay attention to the red flags. All right. Okay. <laughs> Your person has a tendency to like, how can I say this? Um, they have such a fear, really, of aban being abandoned. They will sabotage the relationship before it ends because they have a fear that it's not going to work out and they have a fear that it will end so they will look for red flags or create red flags as a way to justify why they're fearful of staying or getting involved see the knight of cups is a cup of love but he's on a horse and he comes in and he's romantic and he's or he or her is very romantic and engaging and charming, but the knights always are in movement, so they don't ever stick around. Your person struggles with that, that sticking around energy, that committing, even though they want the love and they want your attention, want your affection, and they want to have that exchange. They, they really want to be able to get into some type of committed thing, <clears throat> but it's like they don't know how to do it they struggle with that and i feel like in the past um there was a desire to learn because the three of pentacles is a card of like learning new skills going to school maybe the school of hard knocks or hoping to learn from you or you know your person could be someone who like watches youtube videos of how to be in a relationship i feel like they're maybe they just didn't know or they just weren't sure or had issues where they didn't think they could right so that's why this moon card is here with pay attention to the red flags because your person is always kind of like oh somebody i can't trust this per i can't trust virgo or um virgo is like i'm gonna get deceived or virgo is gonna lie you know that 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 moon energy can be very deceptive because when the moon shines at night it can cast shadows and make you think that it's something other than just your scarf hanging on the door you know on the hook um you know shadows can be very deceptive and um you might think there's a figure standing in your room but it's not it's you know it's like the shadow from your i don't know whatever you have in your room or wherever right so this person um they believe the shadows more than they have a hard time putting light on things you know so they always have this sense going forward that there may be deception okay however despite that yeah see they have a hard time they believe what they see they believe in those shadows but you know what virgo <laughs> you're like it's not a shadow dude 
honey, it's not a shadow. Look, let me turn the light on for you. You're a realist, you're very practical. And Virgo, you're like, okay, it's not a shadow. It's just, you know, my whatever hanging on the wall or on the hook or, you know, it's casting, like, it's almost as if like this person, look, they still have the three of pentacles. This person really is like either needs to or will be trying or needed in the past to relearn how to be the things to be in a relationship the things that this person has experienced in their life um kind of skewed their their beliefs um when it comes to being able to trust others but i feel like they're still willing to try to make something work here with you or try to build or just come into teamwork but they have trust issues and they have a tendency to get so fearful that they will stalemate sometimes um, opening up. They don't, it's like they don't want you to know about their fears, but at the same time, they're also willing to listen and, and compromise and say, okay, well, I strongly believe that that shadow on a wall is some is a person out to get me. But your Virgo saying that it's not, it's just something hanging on the wall, casting a shadow. So they're willing to like open up and listen to you and, and say, okay, okay, it's, it's, I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to look for these wet, these red flags. Cause I feel like these red flags are false flags. They're just, you know, like when somebody's been abused in a past relationship, it, it's like they, they have a hard time trusting, right? Whether it was from family or other relationships. So they can go into another relationship and they already come in not trusting. They already come in with these great big fears. So then they look for these little caveats and nuances to just kind of get confirmation that they're going to get hurt again but they do this as a form of protection and i kind of feel virgo like you keep it real for them and they know that you're like very down to earth here that's also another trait that they see about you virgo that you're like you know you're pretty resourceful you're someone that can be counted on you're very domesticated but you're like a solid rock you know and um you just don't get caught up in fantasy and if you do you understand that it's not reality right so i see this person yeah they definitely will be trying to you know reunite with you um three of cups energy is like having that circle of support and that friendship you know and and definitely uh, coming back together and I think, Virgo, I, I kind of feel like you already know this about this person, but you try very much to um, get stable or stay stable, and they see you as someone who's very stable and practical and consistent. Um, if you weren't like that before, you definitely are now, and they're seeing that now. Hmm. But they also... <laughs> Seven of Cups... They also have a feeling that you won't, or you won't, or you will not try to commit to anything with them. And I'm not really sure why. They, I don't know, it's, they have a fear. They just kind of view you as like, okay, Virgo's stable and practical, yet Virgo is like, uh, maybe has commitment issues or isn't willing like has too many options oh they may feel oh yeah yeah okay that's a message i just got so with that red flag yeah see what this person has an issue with self-worth so they feel like you would find somebody else better and they think that you will they believe that you will they don't believe that they're good enough for you <laughs> which i know virgo you're like i love them that's not even true but that's coming from their perspective and they think that you have a lot of options um, and maybe you do um, or maybe you don't but you, you're not really talking about that with this person because you don't want to hurt them you know if you do um, I mean look at you Virgo they're conflicted they think that you have all these you know or they just believe that you would choose or that you're just looking at your other options and they're just like maybe one of them and they believe that you think that 
they won't be you won't be able to narrow it down um, but they're confused because they also feel like you're very focused on your work so they're like well wait what's going on are they working are they focused on their work and their abundance and the things that they're doing in their career and their life or are they looking at other options right so your person your person has um stuff going on they have some stuff they have some trauma some childhood trauma or some past trauma um, that affects their relationship and has I feel like they really truly love you and want this connection with you um, but they have a lot of great fear and they are definitely waking up to these things right now very passionate they definitely want that physical intimacy with you um, let's take a look and see how they feel about you okay you were the best thing in my life I really feel like that I really feel they feel that way about you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, see? And I feel like your person, you know, you might not see that it was hard for them, but it was because it was like a failure on their end. They had to accept. They didn't have to let you go, but they just kind of had this fear of not succeeding or maybe that a fear of being successful. But when they let you go, it wasn't easy for them if they let you go in the past okay um because for them it was a failure it was just confirmation that they um were not able to meet your needs in some ways okay yeah look they have regret there's regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you at virgo maybe you let them go maybe you just said that's it you're you're not moving forward they have a lot of regret right now um Yep, I left you before you could leave me, you see? They didn't, they have abandonment issues, abandonment anxiety problems. There is chemistry here, though. You're both very attracted to each other, saw the chemistry. You know, chemistry is just not enough. You know, you could feel that love, that true love, that chemistry. You know, you guys could be on the same page, but it, it takes so much more than that to make something, you know, work and... and Oh, I always talk about the attachment styles. One of you could be like um, anxious, preoccupied attachment where you need, need, need. And the other could just be uh, very avoidant, you know, um, or there's some there's someone who could just be very fearful. You know, um, a lot of that stuff could play out and or someone could just be very secure and the other, be, you know, there's a lot of like back and forth perhaps occurred in this relationship and of course you could always look that attachment styles up they're very interesting love attachment styles it's usually the issue it's usually the case but this person definitely loves you unconditionally they do they're like you're perfect to them there's nothing you could do um, they just are seeking they just have a tendency to seek out red flags so that they don't get left or get abandoned because they have a fear leaving you hurt me too yeah now that's twice Okay, so this person, I feel like in order to avoid you finding out and not approving of them, they put the kibosh on the relationship. For some of you, that might have happened. Uh, they may have shared close things with you, but to get even closer, oh, that's frightening for this person. Yeah, they still want you. So they're in a lot of conflict. And, you know, there's really, I mean, I really don't know what else, like if this person and you are not communicating right now, I mean, there really isn't anything you, I feel like you can do here. If you are communicating, there are ways to try to like make your connection healthier. But I think like if you're not in on speaking terms, then you really, for and this is not showing up in the reading, it just feels to me like if that's the situation, all you can really do is focus on yourself, you know, and um, let this person go. Um, but if you are communicating with them, you know, you're going to need more than a tower reading <laughs> to help you with that. But I feel like you could book a reading with me and I might be able to give you some uh, guidance um, through the tarot and stuff like that to help you but let's take a look and see what your message is for uh just for you virgo just for you and um let's see okay oh you have the six of pentacles 
So the good you do comes back to you, Virgo. Um, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others left less fortunate. So that's an energy of um, kind of being like uh, uh, being generous, being helpful. Stay in that energy, Virgo. Um, not chasing people down and trying to get them to do something or meet your needs, but just being helpful to others, uh, maybe doing some volunteer or helping other people who are struggling. You know, um, you do have that gift of service, Virgo, so you are able to make a difference in people's lives. And even if it means this person's life, um, this is the card of charity. Now, I'm not saying your person's a charity case, but um, there's nothing wrong with helping other people. And if you want to communicate with this person and offer some type of help or ask them if they need help, you certainly could do that and be a good friend, but that's completely up to you. Um, and you also have renewal, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life purpose, in your heart you know what to do. Okay, I don't know, this is judgment here. So this is definitely a card about um, making a final decision here in your life, having some kind of a wake up call um, and trying to understand what your life's purpose is right now for you and perhaps with this person. All right. But it's a card of renewal and it's it's kind of like saying coming to terms, reevaluating uh, the past, the connection, no longer being in denial about things looking to see if you made an error in judgment about your relationship with this person or about yourself, um, no longer fear, fearing any kind of change and becoming in, empowered and strong in your life going forward, right? So these are really some serious things for you to take a look at. Um, I'm also seeing receiving flowers from somebody and also I feel like a connection with England and also um, something to do with the Red Cross. So I'm not really sure what that means, but I'm going to leave your reading there, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed that. And if you'd like to get a personal reading from me again, there's a link in the description box below. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.